Previously on Oxventure, deep in the jungle known as the Tangle, the Thief Queen of Legend was revealed to be an old nemesis of the Oxventurers Guild. Katie, bloody pearlhead, how have you been? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Thief Queen offered the Oxventurers a deal. If they vanquished her rebel captain Tinniswood and his traitorous crew, she would give to them the second shard missing from the orb. After the messy business of tracking down Tinniswood and letting a monstrous Aboleth do most of the murder, our heroes returned to the court of the Queen to discover the Queen Katie had fled with the precious shard. Enraged, Dob took off in pursuit, leaving everyone else to deal with the Queen's henchmen and, yet again, their pointy spears. All the henchmen lower their spears and they're oh, like, Get ready yeah. to die! Roll for initiative. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Can nice do. Nice opener. Right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. If I can. I'll, roll. Oh, I'll roll for initiative. You better believe I'll Have do. a 19, Johnny. Pew. Oh, plus one. Have a, have a 20. <laughs> yeah, have another okay. 20. A dirty one. But have a 20. six from me. <laughs> yeah. From Merylwyn. Okay. And a 12 from Prudence. And Dob, Ooh. are you going to... Oh, no, wait. He ran off, didn't he? Oh, Dob? yeah. Dob? He's, He's long gone. gone. U-N-N-O-F-T. <laughs> Right okay. Dob. I, yeah, I've got low initiative because I'm still trying to work out where Dob is. Where's he? Why did he run off? He's really a, a fight. There's a fight here. Dob. So, yes. right, no, it's fine, Dob. Don't worry about it. We'll just fight yeah, we'll these. handle this, I guess. Yeah. There are. <laughs> it's okay, a... Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn just pulls out a sock puppet. <laughs> um, Hello. There are, half, here. <laughs> there are half a dozen guards all around you with spears um, ready to um, to kill you as as per the uh, the command of uh, fake Katie Pearlhead, but obviously through her it is the command of the true Katie Pearlhead. Katie Pearlhead has well not Katie Pearlhead herself um, mm. actually does seem to fake, be kind fakey, of fakey Pearlhead. Fakey Pearlhead. Fakey Pearlhead. We've got to distinguish the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. straight off the bat, inspiration for prudence. <laughs> <laughs> Fakey Pearlhead is kind of rummaging around in the folds of her cloak, clearly trying to draw some weapon or other. At the very top, we have Egbert and Corazon. Yep. Um, why don't you uh, decide between you? Who goes first? How are the How are the enemies arranged? So they are. Um, if you imagine, they are kind of in a tight semicircle around you. So at the right. front, keeping a clear view between you and, and Fakey Pearlhead, you've you've got space, but you've got six people so basically two to your left two to your right two behind all of them i'd like speared. to grab fakey pearlhead's pearlhead and spin it round so she can't see out of it okay oh cool, yeah let's just decide among ourselves yeah i decided <laughs> among myself <laughs> executive decision yeah. all right um i would like you to make me you use your whole combat turn yeah when we're fighting six people, wait, seven wait, people. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Executive decision. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Executive decision. Yeah, that's we're what I want to do. They're trying to murder us. This is serious. <laughs> but he already has inspiration. Uh. Um, I would like to dump a bucket of custard <laughs> on their head and pull their trousers down. And go, <laughs> That's great thinking, Corazon. That will disorient them. Okay, you can use the slide whistle as a bonus action. That's not actually what I want to do. I want to fight them because this is a serious life or death encounter. Help us, Corazon. Well, okay. Um, well, Egbert's gone first now, so let's see what nonsense this... Yeah, um, so that will be strength, happens. strength athletics, is... please, from you, Egbert. Sure. Uh, Egbert with the comedy round. And then... uh, so another 19 <laughs> plus four is uh, 23. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm probably yeah. going to... I really want to screw it on so it's impossible you to... You twist her head, clean off her neck. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> okay, she got a dirty 20. It's not enough. Um, so, yeah, you, you run up and you spin the pearl head around, uh, disorientating her. Um, and until she writes that, she is going to be rolling at a disadvantage. Cool. Um, in the so same it has way eye as... holes, then? Does so it have it's eye It's got to have, like, probably a mesh, some sort of uh, gauze, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like translucent in that Yeah, I assume it's just opaque and you can see shapes through it. Maybe. Well, she's oh. not seen anything now. Okay. This, this of course, presupposes that the, the papier-mâché head Fakie Pearl Head is wearing is the true papier-mâché oh, yeah, head yeah. of Casey Pearl Oh, my goodness. I don't want to get too deep into the lore right off the bat, but, yeah. you know. Either way, Inception. she can't quite see so well. Okay. So, Corazon, what do now? Um, I will uh, cast Grease at the people behind us. Mm -hmm. I want to knock them down. 
So uh, producing a uh, brown this paper t- packet of bacon from my pocket. I rub a little uh, little bacon grease on both fingers and suddenly pour forth a torrent of grease. This is only because hands. he didn't bring a bucket of custard. Wait, wait is that the spell component for grease? Uh, it's a bit of pork rind or butter. Okay. I need to carry both for making bacon sandwiches. <laughs> but also... Corazon constantly decided, smells of bacon, presumably. I'm constantly yeah, smell of bacon. I, I just have a little provision <laughs> pouch. Yeah. You know, in case I fancy a bacon, bacon sarnie. Okay. You are la la. Ten foot square, centred on a point within range. Okay. So, I think it's safe to say you'll, you'll be easily able to target two people. Mm-hmm. You could probably get a third, like, on a corner. But... Yeah. One of one of your companions is going to have to roll as well to not get greased. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, uh, they're, they're dexterous. Okay, sure. They've got it. All right. And so they know what's co- they know what's coming when they see the bacon coming out. They'll be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. Um, all right then. So odds, it's Meryl and evens, it's prudence. That is an even number. Prudence. Um, <gasps> you, alongside these three guards, need oh. to make a dex saving throw. Okay. Against... Does she get advantage on that roll because she knows she sees she the saw bacon, bacon. out? <laughs> Great questions that have been asked to DM through time. How I'm closely going... was I looking at uh, Corazon rummaging in his pockets <laughs> instead of looking at Katie Pearlhead? Fake keeper. I, go- I am going to allow this. Um, mm. Only because I think that's the first time in Oxventure history that anyone's actually gone to the trouble of describing a spell component. Yeah! <laughs> I, I famously hate See, them anyway, I'm but... I'm taking it seriously. <laughs> it's good. What's okay. your spell save, DC, please, Corazon? Uh, it's 14. Okay. Meanwhile, Egbert is doing a Three Stooges slap along the faces of all the <laughs> guys. And, that was my next idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you? <laughs> so I'm rolling for a dexterity saving throw. Yep. Oh, that's an eight. Okay. Advantage, though. Oh yeah, you do have advantage because you know what bacon is. Mm. Okay. Also, Corazon will be loudly announcing that he's reaching for his bacon. Yeah, Bruce I shouted Bruce. like I'm doing a Hadouken. He's yeah. going for the bacon! Stop him! <laughs> Bruce! Grease! Grease! <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, right. Prudence, you keep your feet. Yeah. You may be, you know when sort of your feet slide out, but you just happen to slide mm. into a, a more rooted position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. drop your centre of gravity in what looks like a cool warlock preparing to do battle sort of way. Yeah. Um, the guards are, are less um, less fortunate. Of the three, only two of them go down, but you basically you had two here and then one on the corner. Um, you've got one on each side goes down and the one on the corner stays up. So if you're facing towards Fakey Pearlhead, yeah. you've got six guards going from left to right. We've got standing, prone, standing, prone, standing, prone, standing, standing. All the others are standing. <laughs> Oh man, Corazon! If you were playing like bowls, ten pin bowling, that would be yeah. a bad split. Got a seven ten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Is there anywhere, anywhere to hide in here? Anywhere that I could secrete myself? We're in a throne room, right? Yeah. An old throne room. I go behind the throne. <laughs> the so one, gonna... the one object in the room. <laughs> Where's Corazon? You're gonna secrete some grease and then secrete yourself. Yeah, I'll use some of the excess <laughs> grease. And it's a real secretion heavy roll. <laughs> um, you can, tr- you can absolutely try it. I'm going to do wisdom perception for the guards. Um, okay. And you need to do deck stealth as an opposed roll. 19. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that beats my 15. Hey, do you want to end up behind the throne or? Yeah, I'll go behind the throne. Seems okay. Like a good spot. Let's say that with the last bit of grease, while the guards were sort of distracted by their friends falling down, you sort of took a run up, like put some on the floor and just sort of did like a cool slide on your side right behind the throne. Where's so you, you are now hidden away. Um, <laughs> the guards have no object permanence. Away. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh, it's Corazon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got standing prone. He's Corazon. St- yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing a map for my own reference of the room because one half of the guards is going to attack. I've split them into two groups to make it just slightly easier. Mm -mm. Okay. So if you're looking at the throne, the guards on your right hand side, of which two are standing and one is prone, two of them are going to make attacks. Oh, that is a dreadful roll. That is a three. So don't think that's going to beat anyone's. 12, 13, 14. Who is where? Merylwen, what's your AC? It's 15. Just misses. So, um, like, they sort of lunge at you with a spear, 
and you feel it kind of you sort of yeah you duck away you feel it kind of score against sort of the the you do you wear like leather armor i forget mm -hmm. yeah you sort of feel it score against it but it kind of holds and you're like oof close one but you're actually okay one of them is going to stand up nope okay one of the the other one just stands up but starts to draws a scimitar actually like his spear went kind of flying away from him as he went down so he stands up and kind of draws a blade and is making ready to attack the next turn good job everyone um prudence you are next right so no one's been damaged on either side yet no some people are standing some people are not and there's a bunch of grease everywhere corazon's hidden yep okay i nearly lost my footing but didn't correct how far am I from Fakie Pearlhead? She's probably... I mean, Egbert was able to reach her in one combat round. So okay. she's probably only about 15 foot away. All right, I attempt to bound over or slide over, greasily mm -hmm. slide over to the part of the room where Egbert is standing, looking pleased with himself, having twisted the Pearlhead all the way around. <laughs> and Entire I attempt <laughs> to uh, grasp her on, other, on both sides of the Pearlhead. Mm-hmm in a sort of menacing posture. Oh, are you going for the 710 split? Is everyone just going for this pearl <laughs> no, head? No, 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 I'm not going to spin it around again because then it would be in <laughs> the right say. position. No, I, I bellow to the room, everybody freeze or I'll execute your stand-in ruler. Because I assume she's someone of note, you know, she's someone with authority. Yeah. She's been left in charge. So I'm going to... Basically, I'm threatening... They don't know this, but what I intend to do is Eldritch Blast her from both sides with both hands. Oh, wow. Right what? Through straight the through? <laughs> oh, man. Just yeah, right. the temples. There we go. So, th I mean, they know I'm, I'm magical. I'm a warlock. They can put two and two together. So yeah. I attempt to... I assume it'd be a sort of grappling thing where I'm trying to get her in, yeah. a, in a threatening posture. I need strength athletics from you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fakie Pearlhead is going to do Dex Acrobatics because mm -mm. that is uh, the area in which she is stronger, but she is rolling at a disadvantage. So that yeah, you can 20 thank me just, for that. That oh, natural yeah. twenty I just rolled does <gasps> not count for anything. Oh. I had to bin it and roll a four oh, instead. Oh, like, well, what's that? See that, that Corazon? The day. <laughs> Corazon's nowhere to be seen. Corazon. <laughs> Crows on his cursing behind the throne. <laughs> it's like you hear some quiet swearing coming from <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a strength athletics roll, even though it's not my forte, not being a, um, a strong... Oh, wait, no. I'm a, we I'm a werebear. Ah, right. Ah, there it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I my werebear. Sometimes I just, you know, forget about that werebear part of me. Uh, so let's so go. easy to forget about a werebear curse. So easy curse. to forget. <laughs> Barely it's intrudes just, on your life. Just part hey. of me. Oh. Uh, anyway, that is a 15. Yes, you have comfortably done it. So you have grabbed hold of um, fakey pearl heads, fake pearl head. Um... And I would also like you to just make me a charisma intimidation roll, please. Mm. Now you're talking, gen Johnny. Gently warming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the warming glow. up that Eldritch Blast. Mm. Charisma intimidation. Well, obviously I've got proficiency in intimidation. So, mm. um, and I've got a five in charisma. So, hang on. Uh, very nice. Okay, that is... Uh, uh, 17. 17. Okay. Um, and I, I rolled not as a... Not as a um, an opposed check, but I roll roll wisdom perception for the um, the guards to see if they're picking up what you're laying down. Uh, oh, okay. It was a it was a natural twenty. Aha, so, they um, really understand. They understand you perfectly, uh, <laughs> and they they pause and. Um, uh, yeah. Let bear um, <laughs> another one. Well, yeah. There it is. Oh, I say um, barely, and everyone's like. Eh. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it every time. <laughs> it was oh, it was just enjoyable to hear Corazon say a pun. Okay? Didn't mean ah. to. <laughs> just saying the word barely. <laughs> um, I mutter from behind the throne. <laughs> <laughs> there is a prolonged silence in the room as the guards kind of look to one another. Um, one of them near the front goes, "Mistress," and you hear from inside the fake pearl head. You should probably do what she says. 
I don't I don't know what she's doing. She's warming me head up. <laughs> Is she warm, she's, what's she doing? She's warming me head up. Yeah, I've just got a light eldritch crackle on my fingers and it's sort of Oh, you know, it's like a plasma ball. You know a plasma mm. ball with the kind of it, it looks a little bit <laughs> like, like a non transparent plasma ball, yeah, with like eldritch crackling going all around it. Yeah. Okay. The guards kind of drop their weapons. Those who have been knocked prone kind of stand up. You hear one of them go Wait, wasn't there one more? Where did the where did the roguish looking one disappear? <laughs> I slide out from behind the throne, like, that's right. Oh. <laughs> kind of like you're on a dolly, just like... <laughs> just like... Peace. Okay, and from inside the, the fake pearl head, you hear, oh, what do we do now? Marowan, disarm everyone. Do, you, do I, I walk around and just take everything? Yeah! <laughs> okay, I do that. <laughs> I mean, are, yeah. we, are we out of combat? Or are we still in combat? I think no. I think at this point we're out of combat initiative. Okay, but, but only potentially temporarily out of combat. Let's get these guards tied okay. up. Let's get them tied up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go hemp and rope these fools. All right, All right. lay that order, Merylwen. Tie I'll, everyone up. I'll help. That. I'll help with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. A strength really athletics easy. check from everyone, please, to yeah. determine the strength of your bonds. Or mm, you can make it deck sleight of hand if you prefer. Oh, yes, please. I would. I would prefer. It's not bad. Twenty-three. Fifteen. Thirteen. What was thirteen? Okay. The yeah, the bonds are, are, are solid. And while no one has quite managed the like exquisite, like artful knots that Corazon has, um, you suspect that these guards are going to be held for a, a good time, long enough at least to give you um, breathing room and plan what you're going to do next. All right, well, we should interrogate this pearl-headed fool. Yeah. Okay. Find out where Katie's gone with our cone of mystery. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I lead her by the pearl head shape uh -huh. to the throne and, like, sit her down. Um, and can someone, you know, like, maybe tie her hands to the throne? Easily. I don't know what she was going for in her robes. In fact, I pat her down. I, I, mm -hmm. I pat her down for whatever she was going for in her robes. There are, there are a pair of swords. Oh, oh fakey. Oh, fakey pearl head. I'll be having those. And I take away her swords. What were you thinking? And I leave Corazon or whoever to tie it. Yeah, I'll tie, I'll tie it to the okay. throne. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, well, well. Here we go. Now's the time for for interrogation. Um, where did your uh, master, mistress, uh, Katie Pearlhead go? Tell us now. I told you she was just going to throw the thing in a volcano. Which volcano? Can I take this, I take this pearl head off, please? Can I unscrew it? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boom. Which volcano, Fakey? Which one? I don't know. It's just what? A, Are there many volcano? around here? What's the nearest volcano? Were there any shocking revelations from removing the pearl head? Oh, yeah. What does she look like? <laughs> She's got sort of very dark hair that's kind of like braided from here all the way down. But um, it's, it was clearly quite humid inside the, um, the <laughs> fake head, especially after you started heating it up. So lots of like strands have come loose. It seems to have just like puffed up. Mm. Like she just generally looks a bit bedraggled and quite yeah. pissed off. Um, <laughs> we're not the bad guys here, fakey pearl head. Okay. We just, we want to find an artifact that we're looking for. Right. And I don't think all this trying to murder us is quite on, really. Well, I was just following orders. Yeah, well, okay. So at least New no orders. one got hurt. But, you know, we need some information from you now so we can okay. go and you can get about your whatever you get up to here. It's none of my business. Okay. Well, what do you want to know? Where's the nearest volcano? For there's, one. Well, there's one near the Lake District, I think. Okay. That's a, that's outside the tangle, right? That's out, that's quite yeah. a way. Yeah, that's, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what next so question? You, you think that's where, where Katie would have gone? Well, she said, she said to tell you that she was going to throw it in a volcano. Right. Uh, I don't know if she actually went to throw it in a volcano. That's true. Your friend seemed convinced. He's run off after her, I can yeah, only assume. Yeah. Which, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be in trouble for this, as it is, but that's going to be worse. So, thanks. I'm in a, I'm in a heap of dirt. Well, that's on, that's on our friend Dob, isn't it? Mm. So right. Nothing we can do about that. Um, but... <sighs> That's true, actually. Why would she tell? Why would she tell her lackeys that she was going to a volcano? If she, yeah. she might have been going where, to Paris. Where does Katie live? Where are her quarters? Here. She's the queen. This yeah, is the court where, of the fifth where's, queen. Where's her room? It's back behind. 
Right. I'm going to go in there and see if she's got a diary or something. Go search her lodgings. A bit weird. Mm-hmm. What? It might have clues. Don't put this on me. You're okay. the one with a pearl okay. on your head. Okay. <laughs> I say. I bet you're good at interrogations. You've got a. You, you can induce people to tell the truth, can't I'm you? I'm going in the room of the thief queen. Yeah, I could. I could use the old zone of truth if you want. But they called? have to. They have to want. They have to want to actually say things. So you might have to you, apply some coercion at the same so time. Right. What's, what's the point of a truth spell where they don't have to tell the truth? <laughs> <laughs> tell me that. Uh, because they're. I don't know. They're aware of it and can avoid answering questions to which they would normally respond with a lie. Is it like a you have the right to remain silent, but if you speak, you will have to tell us the truth? Exactly. Okay. No so I could in. use it, but I don't know that it would be that useful. I don't get the feeling that she's lying to us. Mm. No. Maybe she just doesn't know. Yeah, use, can I, just using every possible caution for traps, mm-hmm. <laughs> go through into this back room, the quarters of the Thief Queen? Yes, you may. Um, right. Just make me a wisdom perception check first and foremost. Okay. So nine plus two plus three, so 14. Okay. The traps here are few. They exist, obviously, because old habits die hard, but um, generally speaking, this is supposed to be a safe place anyway. Very well maintained. Super heavily guarded. It's, you know, like, so traps here are kind of an afterthought. So you manage to pick your way through. It's kind of quaint, actually. You're like, oh, little little razor wire there. Little, oh. little man trap on the floor. Oh, yeah. That could have, like, uh, could have really shattered my limbs. <laughs> yeah, ooh, could have twisted my ankle on this one. Yeah. Um, you make it back into um, Katie's room, which is large, um, but very sparse. It's like she still hasn't got out of the habit of living as a thief might, kind of, you know, with a go bag, ready to cut and run at any time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm almost picturing like Zagreus's room in Hades. Right. Um, uh-huh. Before you but, buy the Achilles poster. And yeah, 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 before you buy all the upgrades. <laughs> Without anything really in it. Um, there's sort of a, just mean, a really, canvas sack. The, the real end game experience. Oh, huge. <laughs> hugely. Yeah. Make me an investigation check, please. Intelligence investigation. Okay, that is a 13 plus 4, 17 uh, plus 3, 20. Okay, cool. You, it's like you knew it was there. You walk into the room and you're like, oh, Katie. You just lift up the mattress, and under the mattress where her head would be, there is a small, indeed, diary. Um, it is it is written in some form of shorthand, which obviously you have comprehend languages, is no mm-hmm. struggle for you. You know like those five-year diaries? Like yeah. the really thick ones that are mm. meant to last for ages? This one appears to start when, um, shortly after Katie uh, massacring a lot of people at the night market. Um, the first, I'm going to say, Graphic. hundreds to 140 pages are just focused on how much she hates Dob for <laughs> smashing a papier mache thing over her head. And it's a lot of like Some very. drawings. Yeah. yeah. A lot of very, <laughs> very. There's violent. a lot of sort of like portraits of Dob from here up done in mm. sort of soft pencil. Yeah. Um, and just endless, endless like reams of paper about how much she hates him. Yeah. Um, for it's it's a lot of that kind of self-serving excuse of like he he forced me into this position he made me, you know, rampage through blah 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 blah, uh, and then it sort of starts to calm down a bit as you rifle through this journal. It's kind of just a lot of details of heists like how cunning it was when she hid in a vase and then popped out the vase and then smashed the vase on someone's head. Blah 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 blah. It's pretty cool. You do find an interesting your eye catches on an illustration of the shard is it in that... Dob's eye <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, no there, there, there is a, a drawing of him with a fork in his eye right okay but um, that next, was some pages back yeah, okay. I'm kind worried about him catching up like. with her <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she makes a note of uh, this curious item that she found she's like I stole this on a whim it was in a temple of some kind you know la 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 I wasn't overly bothered she says I she basically talks about how she's going to keep it in the treasure hoard she's not really sure what it's for but she does posit that maybe she could get a price for it if it were matching if she could maybe acquire a second um, and this is where things she get really interesting because she starts talking about she calls them those weirdos with their weird treasure and she starts to describe uh, what sounds like a, a rubbish monastery, basically. 
that sits at the mouth of the tangle. Uh, the, the river, sorry, that runs through the tangle. There, there aren't many, um, there aren't many details about the place. She kind of just describes the rough location, but she sort of says, you know, weirdos, weird treasure, something about a prophecy? Question mark? Question mark? Easy trip down river. Memo. Go steal. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, commit all that to memory, and then I'll head back to the throne room, uh, avoiding the traps again on the way. Yep, naturally. Just blithely stride back through the traps. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. How's it been going with this fakey? Fake I've been head? kicking kicking the guards uh, okay, while everyone cool. else keeps an eye on fakey pearl head. Seems unnecessary. <laughs> all right. Um, did do you get any info about where where the uh, the shard might be? No. What did Nothing you get? useful. Oh, I got exact info on where the shard is. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, that's I was just going to see if you had anything better than. <laughs> Better I've mostly that. been kicking the guards, if I'm honest, Corazon. Cool, cool. Okay, well, I think we're I think we're done here. So let's just um, leave these folks to it. All right, I kick one of them once more in the belly, and then get out of here before any more oh. guards show up. <laughs> okay, are we just gonna are we just gonna leave them, or should we like? Oh, someone kill... will someone will be a no, we'll kill them. Kill them to send a message? No. We'll kill no. Who said that? <laughs> you oh, okay. did. You just said <laughs> it. It was you. All right, fine. It was <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're the only one saying it. <laughs> All right, okay. we're going to leave you tied up, but we assume someone will be along and then we can untie you. Okay. Could, oh. could you put the pearl back on my head? Oh. Uh, why, do you feel feel safer with the pearl on? Well, I feel more important, but... All right, fine. No, no one's meant to know that she's away. Okay. Oh, but right. will it be worse if they think she's been overcome? Could you take it off again, actually? All right. I did, <laughs> put it on her lap and she can decide later. We've got places to be. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, could you put it with the hole up, up so I yeah. can... Yeah. Oh, yeah, if, if you need to, to, you can dunk your head in it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, All right, great. Fine. I'm sorry I tried Perfect to kill solution. you. That's all right. These things just happen. business, fine. isn't it? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry it didn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry I greased your friends. <laughs> oh, no. you said you're sorry it didn't work. Well, right. that okay, would have been better for me, so... All right, well, now I'm going to rob you. Has she got any valuables? I took her swords already. Got a couple of nice swords. Yeah, I'll have them. All right. right. See, it could have just been nice, and now I've got oh. your swords. Anyway, bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think she's learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we leave and find somewhere safe uh, at a reasonable distance from the temple to reconvene and talk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, there is a like, there is a handy sort of. Are you are you just going to leave the town entirely? Sort of the the sort of shanty town, sort of around the court of the queen, or? I mean, so we're going to come in and find those guards quite yeah. soon. Yeah, so that's fair. So we should fair. probably get clear of the town, maybe head okay. into the jungle. Yeah, mm. sure. Find a clearing. Yeah. yeah, all right then. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very, very easy to get lost in the tangle as soon as you leave the court of the, of the queen. Yeah. So you pretty much just walk out the door, turn left, go two minutes, and you're you're safe as houses, really. Okay. We did so hide the boats, right? Did we hide the boats? We did. Yeah. Down river or mm. up river? Yes, I think. Mm. Do we leave any way of finding them? I probably. <laughs> you. I would hope so. Everyone we... remember, we parked the boats under a tree here yeah. in the there jungle. In jungle see, section C7. <laughs> yeah. We must have left some sort of marker. Yeah, in the vine lot. <laughs> I hold the, the keys up and start pressing the button to see if we can hear the, the boat unlocking. <laughs> you do You do hear a bird go... Ah, but you think it's unrelated. Okay, oh. I could just gather everyone together and I okay. just sort of put one foot up on a rock and I've got a, um, I've somehow acquired a coconut that has got some rum in it and also some sort of fresh mango and uh, coconut <laughs> milk. I'm just sort of taking a sweep from that. And I'm like, uh, thanks for joining me here in this clearing. So there's a monastery. Right. A, a, a river at the sort of the mouth of the tangle, mm. at the mouth of this river. Um, there's a bunch of weird weirdos with a weird treasure and some kind of prophecy but I'm pretty sure that's where Katie will have gone I think she told us she was going to throw it into a volcano so that we would run off to the volcano and like, spend our time hanging out in the volcano while she goes there and tries to steal their because they've got another one of these oh shards. so the treasure is another one of the shards to go in the orb I think so yeah so I think Katie's Maybe. headed there to get another shard so she can sell them as a pair but we be want valuable. the other shards I know so this is this is great our other sh our shards are converging in one place we can get two for the price of one but yeah so I think if we head to the mouth of the river okay um, find this monastery okay I say, knocking back the final bit of my tropical cocktail <laughs> 
Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's that's where do, we should go. Do we think Dob is still sprinting towards a volcano right now? I mean, oh, he might be possibly. at full pelt. Uh, he he went off after Katie though, so it's possible he saw which way she was going and followed her. That's true. Her. That's true. He's a he's a good tracker. Yeah. Or he may be standing on the lip of a volcano right <laughs> yeah. now, pondering yeah. whether to jump in or not. Deciding that the only way <laughs> out is through. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> we all weigh up those options in our mind and decide that Dob is now passed away. Yeah. <laughs> we share a moment for our debate. <laughs> Dob it, it out again. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Marwin. Yeah. Hi, Dob. The dog versus the volcano subplot is happening off screen. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to this monastery then and find this other shard. I mean, we need it, right? It's, yeah, you know. a bunch yeah. of monks. There'll be walkovers. We can go and take whatever we want. Religious yeah. guys. Yeah, but they're, they're my people. I know I know these types. That's oh, yeah. How, do you, how would you compare a monk to a paladin? Mm. Uh, they're like a paladin, but worse. Well, then it'll be easy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. All right, so let's get the boats. Head up the river. Let's go on. Okay, we spend some time looking for where we parked the boats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I mean, it's, it's on the it, river. Oh, I. Right? I can do locate if we've lost them. What I have can you got? do. I've got locate object. Whoa! <laughs> That's oh, yeah, so yeah. useful. Um, um, so you do I... have the do do like key spell basically. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's a pretty unique that spell. I, I also have locate object. Yeah. Oh, okay, expert. <laughs> Quick, use locate object. <laughs> I cast locate object. <laughs> oh no! I wanted it to go. <laughs> yeah, but did you bring the forked twig required? Yeah, oh, we're right. in a jungle, Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> Egbert's been toting around a forked twig. Where Egbert's... am I going to find a forked twig? It's holding on to it for years. Oh, okay. I'll never find another. <laughs> Uh, the object does have to be within a thousand feet, but I think it probably is within a kilometre of where we are, isn't it? So. Yeah, we didn't do a huge trek into town. Yeah, uh, that is a second level spell, though, okay. so it does take up one of my second level slots. Spell slot. I love, th- I love that you've jumped immediately to let's spend a second level spell slot because we don't trust our own characters to remember where we yeah, put these boats. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I'll have a rest in the boat as we're going down yeah, river or something. Yeah, fair. So I guess, do we find the boats? It only lasts for ten minutes, so... You hear a tung tung from <laughs> wooden boats knocking together. Nice. You know vaguely where the boats are, and then the closer you get, you start recognising things like rocks. Viscera that was clinging to the boats from the Avaleth attack has actually dislodged oh, God, itself yeah. and floated back downriver towards you. Just, you know, boat stuff. Um, and then, sure enough, you, you carry along the bank for a couple more minutes, and then they are. Safe as houses. Is it like dousing, Marilyn, but with a forked twig? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You just follow the forked twig around and then... Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you put the forked twig in the ignition. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <there's a guy. laughs> Is it... Do we have one... We had two boats or one boat? I can't remember originally. We had two. Because they were... Yeah, two, two, I believe. Two. Okay, just two. Okay, cool. All right, well... Um, I jump in one of the boats. I guess. Okay. Yeah, go yeah we need to through. head to the mouth of the river. So Egbert I guess... needs to have a lie down. He needs to have a long rest yeah. while I'm we have a nice row. Long rest. I or not row. Right. With... Yeah, that t- locating that object really took it out of me. So and also Merowyn should rest as well. So Corazon and I, <laughs> yeah. Corazon and I should like steer a boat each. Well, no, while I need Egbert to. Re- I need to. Re- re- I need to recover my grease. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, I, I've got everyone plenty takes of spell a nap slots. except me. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. I can, I, I'll stay away. I'll stay. I'll. We'll both guide the. I've got plenty of spell slots. Okay. okay. So. All right. So right. you are taking like a really easy, lazy boat ride oh, down, down down the stream. river. All you yeah. really need to do is occasionally dip an oar in to, nice. to lazy straight, river. straighten the, the boat up a little bit. Um, okay. At one point, a flash goes off from the jungle. You're not sure what that is, but you're sure you'll find out at the end of your journey. No. You can buy it on a mug or a key ring or something. Oh. <laughs> 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 You were really ready for like a new like what is this? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. everyone. No, no. I rolled for initiative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, Corazon, where did you get that rum-based yeah. cocktail uh, from? Because I'm going to need one of those while we float downstream. Okay, um, I hack a coconut off a tree as we roll past. Okay. Yep. Um, hack a mango off another tree. Yep. As Do we a little go bit past of, that, yeah. A little bit of okay. leisure demand and decant a little from my. Hack a tiny uh, umbrella off another tree. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Do a little bit of Ledger Demand and add some <laughs> rum from my hip flask, and then I pass that over to... All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. cheers. Chin, chin. Yeah. There's just yeah. some music in the background going, mm-hmm. it's a dwarf world after <laughs> oh, all. No. <laughs> oh, no. 
That's going to be stuck in my head. If the monks are dwarves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A good point. Um, we're going to call this because the river of the tangle is actually it's quite slow at this point. Um, we're going to call this a long rest. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but that's eight hours, isn't it? Oh, eight? that's so much mm, river. This feel, is a sh- this is a short rest, I'm afraid. How many spell <laughs> slots do I get back? You don't you get any. Don't, I don't on think, a short rest. Short Unbelievable. Rest. Short rest, you heal a little bit, but that's all you get, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, it just oh. it's a, it's a lazy river ride, but it's not that lazy. You, I mean, you can <laughs> if you really want tie up and just wait to go. No, it's fine. Toward the place. Okay. All right. Egbert, well, Egbert's more impatient and impulsive than, okay. than he is interested in having spell slots. You are about two or three hours into your sort of trip downstream, kind of okay. following the meandering river, and um, you swear up ahead you can hear singing, sort of like weird sing song. It's almost like sing talking that has places great importance on rhyme but really does not care about meter or how well the verses scan proper right. like st- bright blue his jacket is and his his boots are yellow kind of nonsense right um and you hear basically a, a chorus of, of four voices being all like hey dull merry done the river water on and on heroes come and heroes we Come heroes to... we I mean I guess everyone has to we come, come yeah even heroes come to set the <laughs> captives free whether quest or weather beast the geth and heroes uh, we are and then they kind of go hmm it's not you hear a voice be like what is it it's not quite right should we maybe swap out beast swap out beast and you see a pair of canoes up ahead and they canoodling. <laughs> they have actually, effectively, yes, they have done that thing where you sort of hook the handle of an oar onto the other boat and they've kind of pulled their, their boats together and they're now just very lazily floating downstream and having a debate about what would be the best way to end this particular verse. You are gaining on them because they are going very slowly. Mm. Um, having a long and rest. From a, from where from where you are, you it looks to you like there's an, uh, a human, an elf, uh, there's a dwarf there, and then um, speaking very very quietly, so quietly that you almost don't notice them. There is a gnome in the front, in like full plate, but with the visor up. Huh. All right, ramming speed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take these fools. What do you uh, make of that, everybody? Are they fellow uh, adventurers, or they look yeah, like a band like of it. adventurers. They were singing about their he- about how they're heroes. Well, the heroes of Geth, and it's like that's us, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit bit rude to say you're the heroes of Geth, and we're clearly <laughs> the heroes of Geth. Yeah. Well, yeah. one of the how many uh, villages one... have they caused to be burned down? <laughs> one of the party, in fact, it's the the elf, um, kind of looks up and sees your canoes and goes, "Oh, fun, adventurers! Hello." Cooey! Oh, hello! Oh God, they've, oh, seen us. they've seen us now. Oh, no. Ramming speed! Yeah, hello, Ramming speed! Yeah. <laughs> we see you! We see you! Hello! Hello! Hi. Come join us! Come join us! Welcome! Welcome! Hi! Hi. Hello! Hi. How Hi. are you? We catch Greeting. up to them. Yeah. Hi! They, without even asking, hook your oh, no. boat oh. either side in, into the flotilla. Rude. Oh, so, um, <laughs> who's in which boat, sorry? Prudence and I are in different boats because we said we'd stay awake. Yeah, yes. Prudence and I are in. I think Prudence and I are in the front boat. Oh yeah, because and... of the okay, cocktails. Great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. as you're looking down river, you've got Prudence and Corazon on sort of on the right, and on the left, um, you've got Marilyn and Egbert. So you're kind of all of you sat looking opposite one another, while in between are four adventurers, kind of like. Um, <laughs> what, what's all this then? <laughs> Whatever say. do you mean, my my fellow? What are you up to? Some kind of adventure? Uh, yes, well, we are Geth's true heroes, I'll have you know. Oh, is that right? Yes. What, what have you done? What, tell me about yeah, what, your, tell what me your credentials. Your oh, a, a great many things that have uh, have been sung up and down the land by uh, by bards aplenty. And uh, we're off to we're off to, 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 to do another adventure right now, actually. We're off to fulfil one of the many prophecies that's been told about us. And in so doing, we... Uh, 
we shall be claiming an ancient, powerful artifact as our own. Huh. What cool type it's, of it just, It's weird. It's, it, that kind of sounds like what we're here to do. Um, What's this prophecy, anyways? Yeah, tell us about the prophecy. Okay, well, uh, if, surprised you don't know, actually. It, uh, it's a prophecy that, that speaks of um, a sneak thief rich in ancient lore, a holy warlock, friend to all, the druid who defies the moon, and the paladin who makes no booms. <laughs> and I, we, no we, we thoroughly believe that that, that prophecy applies That's you, is it? to our Egg, party. Egg, yes, Egbert, my name Egbert, is... have you ever made a boon? Booms. A boom. Have you ever bo- booned? <laughs> oh, you made a boom. Yeah. yeah. It, it was boom. It oh, was it was boom. boom. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, you you make booms all the time. What the hell? No. Maybe they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. it's like the prophecy applies to the exact opposite of us, and that's yeah. these fools. Well, yes. Uh, allow me to introduce um, ourselves. Yes, please. My name is Harmony. Um, I am a I, I am an elven warlock. My patron is is, is Holy Corallon, and I seek to bring goodness and and well wishes to all. Um, over here, I'm holding, are... I'm holding Prudence back at this point. Over here, we have our, our sneak thief who's rich in ancient lore. This is Kuore de Leonessa. I think I said that right. Uh, she's, a, she's a rogue, but absolutely hates adventuring, loves reading. Mostly hides, so she doesn't have to do anything. Just stays in and reads. We have to drag her on every single adventure. Not a, not a not a bit of leadership in her, you know. I'm so and, um, appalled. I'm speechless. <laughs> and this here, he actually reaches into another boat and picks up uh, a tiny gnome paladin, um, who's in in full plate, and she like her visor falls down, but she picks it up again and goes, "This is Bridget. Um, I'll ask you not to raise your voice too much. She's very timid. Doesn't like loud noises. Okay. Okay. Great." Um, but she, hence Paladin who makes no boom. Mm, yeah, he very it. softly sort of pats the uh, the the metal <laughs> breastplate. Says, and uh, finally, this is uh, this is Bog Heck. He's our he's he's our dwarven companion. Um, he's a druid who um, who doesn't know moonbeam. <laughs> doesn't know moonbeam. Um, Bog Heck kind of puts a pipe in the corner of his mouth and goes, I don't know moonbeam. I know. I'll cast anything but else you want me to. it's the easiest spell of <laughs> all, Bogheck. Any spell you want. Can't cast Moonbeam. Can't cast wow, it. Bogheck. But it's good, really, because it's good for the um, the prophecy. Because if I defy the moon because I can't cast Moonbeam, then mm. we're just going to go down there, say, hello, look, sneak thief, rich in ancient lore, holy warlock, friend to all, a druid who defies the moon, a paladin who makes no booms, and uh, they'll, give us, they'll give us what we're after. They're just going to give it to you. I am yeah. so interested to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. They're looking for people to fulfil a prophecy so they can give us uh, the artefact they're holding for us on, on our behalf. Okay. So we'll, well, I mean, we'll just say we're here to collect it, and um, well, as it happens, it, give it us. we're a, a band of tourists. Of oh yeah. Oh, right. Roving tourists, and oh. we were heading towards the monastery for a spot of sightseeing. Mm. Oh. So. We should probably, yeah. you know, band together and, you know... It'd be great to witness the, 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 the moment the when you guys... Fulfilled. Yeah, when yeah. you guys... Yeah. Yeah. Get there prophecy. for the three o'clock Just, showing, um, you know. Quick, quick sure. Oxventura huddle, huddle over here in, okay. the, in the boat. Uh, I think uh, two I of think us are going to have to walk. because they're in between. Oh, oh, <laughs> two of them have to... <laughs> No, oh, just okay. us. No, we can make only. this work. No, we can make this okay. work because I was okay. wondering if we could have a true heroes of Geth huddle. Mm. Um, so all we need to do. <laughs> no, that's what uh, we're, we're the true heroes of Geth. Oh. That's what we'll be doing. Gosh, the canoes is, can only hold two people the, at a time. This is like yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the, you can have no a jerk a losers huddle. No one hears a chick, are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, there's a lettuce. I'm a bag of grain. If that helps. Okay. All right. Okay. You disguise yourself as a bag of grain. We'll hang on. No, we can make this work. How about we just unhook one Let's boat and they go round? Let's just decouple these boats round. for a second. <laughs> and then, okay, okay we'll, like, we'll like swap the boats out and float around so we're two yeah. by two. Just what? Just the one goes You're like good. That. Yeah. Oof. We should consider adventuring. Oof. Oh, well. Thanks. Okay. Well. well, all right. You, we'll hold fast. You do your little manoeuvre, and we, okay. can, we can all huddle. Okay, I steer our boat over to Egbert and Marowen, and so we okay. sort of lash our two canoes together and huddle. They, they're saying okay. that. There's a prophecy, and that these yeah. monks will just give the artifact to the yeah. group that 
fulfills the prophecy. Easy. And they're so we should us. we should so... present ourselves as the group that's here to fulfill the prophecy. Oh, rather Not than just steal it off them losers. when they get it. I mean, we could, but we could just get them to give it to us anyway. These these seem like a bunch of goody two shoes who won't Rubes. try and rub it off us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we can so defeat what, them in prophecy fulfillment. So what we need to do maybe is to cause them to fail to fulfill the prophecy, right? What if so... we just hold them under the river right now and then drown them and then we'll, they'll be dead? <laughs> Prudence. <laughs> Prudence, we've had this talk. We can't just drown everyone we meet, Prudence. It's not, not the way everyone. things are done in polite Just society. These idiots. Well, All right, fine. Okay, okay well, fine. I, I, the way I see it, we have we have a couple of options. We can either present ourselves at the same time and enter yes. into a sort of prophecy contest with them, Ooh, okay. or we can present ourselves as sort of observers and then court, like try to cause them to fail. Yeah, and, and then, then present and then ourselves, present as, ourselves as, as. So okay, those that's okay. sort of the options I see that are available to us right now. Okay, and then let's see how this thing plays out, and then. We can just hey, improvise. What was the prophecy again? <laughs> oh, it was just that a group with the exact opposite attributes to yeah, us. Yeah, but it was like a, would turn a up druid and be... that shuns the moon. Yeah, yeah. so can't cast defies moon the moon. Beam. Yeah, but yep. does yep. that yep. mean? Does that is that the literal translation of it? What defies? We the... find ways to make instead of pretending to just be them. We find ways to explain how those things fit us. You could just flip the, off the, the moon. Pa- the paladin. The paladin that doesn't. Um, that makes no boom. Makes no boom. Like, yeah. he doesn't make the boom, his bombs do. That's a good point. That's just yeah. science. Okay. So we're going to sort of like... And if it's like, holds no boom, he doesn't So we're going to like litigate it for, technical, for technicalities. Yeah, all right, let's legal, legal it. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe we okay. don't have a lawyer in the party. Mm. I'm a pirate lawyer. <laughs> okay. What was the warlock? It was a holy warlock who... Oh, friends to all. Friends to... Oh, no, that's going to be mm. a tough one. Folks. And <laughs> just got to find someone called All and become friends with them. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the rogue is Rich in hates, ancient hates lore. adventure, and so you're going to have to bone up on ancient lore. That's fine. Okay. I don't hate reading. I think it's good. Maybe it's not law. Maybe it is law. He did just say that he was a pirate yeah, lawyer. Yeah, that's what, right. What we need to know is what the original language of the prophecy was in, mm. because if it was translated, then the right. hom- homonym of law and law will no longer apply. That's true. Well, let's carry on to the temple and then see exactly how how they're greeted. And then if yeah. if they're like, oh yeah, come inside and we'll begin the trials, then we can be like, actually, we'd like to come in too. We're, Hold the phone. That's yeah. us. Yeah. Or okay. if or like, it might just be they we'll might just, just be sacrificed to it. It might just yeah, be a exactly. trick. <laughs> oh, what if it's one? Yeah. Watch. I think what we'll get, we'll get a good idea of their energy, prophecies. like yeah, yeah, of yeah. this group's energy when we get there. You know, just yeah. leave the room. Because you mm-hmm. said the monks are weirdos, right? So they mm. might be wanting to sacrifice these heroes. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Break huddle. Cool. Break huddle. All right. True heroes. You hear oh. from the other two. Oh no, wait. All right, break huddle. Oh, no. We've got to break huddle okay. in a cooler way, everyone. Prudence, okay. if All you right. want to drown them, you're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hands in, everyone. I'm hands in, everyone. Two okay, Ox Ventures. Hook and horns. Us. Yep, that's the name. We of have our, our own prudence. merch. Yeah, that's yeah. the name of our tour group. Oh, the Ox Venture, <laughs> the Ox Venture tourists. Yeah, that's us. Quaint. Says yeah. Harmony, the um, the elf Queen warlock. Mm. Says, well, we've decided. If you want protection as we go down the river, even if you're too polite or possibly scared to ask for it, we're gonna we're gonna supply it. Oh, Thank that you. sounds great. I take um, a long rest. Uh, yeah. Have we? Uh, <laughs> oh. Do you have any provisions? We're we're very thirsty. I say. Ah, yes, we'd be happy to share with you the things that we have. Altruism is one of is one of Carolon's greatest um, pleasure things that other people do. Great, I absolutely abuse the (laughs) the privilege and help myself to all their supplies. It's a very good rum you have here. Yes, pairs well with the local coconuts. Yeah, yes, yeah. Mm. Um, Well, we we do try and. Would anyone like any of this artisanal meat platter I've put we, together? We do try and... We were hoping Ooh, that yeah. would last. <laughs> no, it's fine. Do. It's yeah. fine. You've had a long journey, I can tell. It's really an excellent uh, parma ham here. Yes. Um, <laughs> Is there a cheese Ka- board as well? here, I believe. Cheese board, yes. She, she acquired that in the... Oh, Egg, but oh, I, pati- I think oh, you'll cheese? particularly like che- this sharp cheddar. Oh, All right. yes, um, I bo- do like bo- a sharp cheddar. Can you... Boghek, can you get the, the cheese out, please? <laughs> Wow, don't worry, we'll buy more. We're fabulously rich, we're famous adventurers. 
Oh, I bet their gold never gets thrown in the lake. Yeah, I notice they're missing a bird. <laughs> That's oh. how they save the gold. <laughs> the dream. Oh, do you have no bard? No, we don't talk about the bard anymore. Oh. Oh. What? What happened to the bard? But just said we don't talk about the bard anymore. Yeah, take the hint, Corazon. <laughs> Guys, the warlock isn't friends to all, it seems. <laughs> no, I think I think they they might have lost their bard in a, a terrible bard. Well, Death. I mean, yeah. yeah, to be fair, we also no longer have a bard. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> yeah, let's not. Did you, did you all <laughs> throw themselves yeah. into a volcano as well? <laughs> uh, he... We sensed your pain. Mm. Uh, yeah, we, we used... thought, yeah. here's a troop that's mm. lacking a bard. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's been a real hard time, I say, through a mouthful <laughs> of artisanal meats and rum. I can, yes. I, I can... I'm really struggling to, you know. We're oh. devastated, really, and I bite a big block of cheddar. Mm. <laughs> Are these local olives? They're very good. You can see that uh, Bridget, the um, the gnome paladin, is just like gripping the sides of the canoe and just looking really like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how? Just how? Just everything. Just absolutely everything. Mm. Mm-hmm. I offer her some cheddar. Would you like some cheddar? Mm. Okay. Oh, All right. Bridget. <laughs> she puts she puts down her visor so hard that she makes herself jump. Um, oh. Kaore de Leonessa doesn't seem to be paying much attention at all. She's got sort of a leg thrown roguishly over the side of the, um, of so the, side of the canoe. Cool. She's got a toe sort of trailing in the water. She's just occasionally reaching down while reading to um, oh to God. pick a grape from a bowl and pop it in her mouth. I throw both my I throw my legs on it over either side of the boat. <laughs> In a, in a doubly cool manoeuvre. Okay. okay. Which like is man, man spreading. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real Geralt in a bath pose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Uh, she tur- she... Are you pointing downriver or upriver? Um, downriver. Downriver, okay, fine. Okay, just lock that in. Yeah. You, you just want to fix the mental image. I get it, I get it. Coore de Leonessa kind of looks at you and kind of... What's the matter? Never seen someone trail two legs in the water? I find it easy. <laughs> Can I have a grape? <laughs> yes. You look stupid. <gasps> Takes one to know one, I say, as I attempt to reach the grapes with one <laughs> next to the thought. That's not a saying. She turns the page. Oh. Yeah, well, grapes, grapes one to know one, I say, and eat a grape. Man, I've, to- I've totally owned this rogue. Yeah, yeah. everyone, Corazon is embarrassing himself. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm embarrassing Corazon de Rubbish over here, whatever her name is. Anyway, let's get down this river. Okay. Sick of these fools. <laughs> <laughs> I take a short rest for what it's worth. Sure. Well, um, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, just take take a short rest. I just hunker and down in the canoe and just sort of, yeah, take a little nap on the on the deck. <laughs> uh, Marowen, you kind of... You try not to pay too much attention to him, but you see Bogheck is just kind of sat, like hunched over the back of the boat with his, he's taken off his boots, he's got his feet trailing in the water. He's sort of chewing on the stem of his pipe and just going, moving, moving. No, that's not, that's not it. Um, and he's just, he's just having a bad time in the back of the, back of the Aww. boat. That's what he's doing. Hey, hey, hey Bogheck. You, you, you're right. You, what you, you trying to cast Moonbeam now? No, no, I'm fine. I can cast everything else. I, I need to cast Moonbeam. I don't want to cast Moonbeam. I am the the druid who defies the moon. If the moon came down and said, "Here's a beam. Do you want to cast it?" I'd say no. Nah. <laughs> Would you though? Because I mean, I've done Moonbeam and it and it's pretty cool. Actually, like, I'm not the only, I'm not even the only one in our party that can do Moonbeam. You, now, now you're pulling me leg. No, that. that oh, who was it? Your, your disgraced, possibly dead bard. Uh, well, Definitely I think he disgraced. can as well. Actually, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <could. laughs> yeah, but yeah, he could. Maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. There's three in our party that can cast it. Okay. Did you, get... did you come here just to insult me? No, 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 no. I just, you know, just thought maybe we could help. Help? How? Go on. All right. Look. Okay. Look. Right. Moonbeam. What do we need? What do we need? Have you got? Have you got? 
your moon seed plant seeds. Yes, I've got my moon seed plant <laughs> seeds. Have you got a piece of opalescent field spa? Yeah, what, what do you Felt think this <laughs> is? He holds up his pipe. You see, <laughs> it's a really heavily gnarled, nah, like gnawed, sorry, uh, piece of opalescent field spa. You just gotta let it flow, you know? Like, just, you gotta just feel the moon. <laughs> and, like, you gotta really, like, focus on the cycles. Mm. And, you know, we're, we're in the water right now. Like, yeah. you know, you, you gotta, so, you know, especially if you're anywhere near a tidal river, you gotta really real feel the ebb and flow that's caused by the pull by of the, the moon. moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You gotta just okay. open yourself up to that. Yeah. All right. I'll work on opening myself up. Yeah. Thanks, Gwendolyn. It's, it's Meryl one. Oh. Okay. Thanks. It's fine. And look, just remember in your darkest times, just remember there's one side of the moon that we never see. <gasps> Is that the side where they keep all the moonbeams? <laughs> I mean. Like, you gotta remember as well. Like the moon, the moon gets its power from the sun. He so don't now, shun. He's, go on, <laughs> go on. Finish, finish the, the the phrase. Don't shun the sun. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Peace and love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like shoot a look at Prudence. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>